after the tone. You have reached the former random hotline. Sorry, we missed your call. I'm George Lucas, creator of Star Wars. Uh, you're watching uh, Miss Calls with the former randoms. Uh, with me, as always, is um, Belushi B, of course. And uh, I believe we have some other uh, former randoms here. Hi, George. Hello. Oh my um, I'm I'm so I'm so excited. We've we've never gotten to officially meet before, George Lucas. Uh, well, Patrick, um, I love uh, the hat. You always wear these elaborate hats, and I really like this one. Thank you. Thank you so much. I got it um, from Alice.Deals. Um, I am fully decked out in Alice.Deals merchandise today. And in fact, uh, I'm not, it's not talking tea, but I am drinking seltzer out of uh, my Steph Germ mug right now. So visit Alice.Deals. <laughs> uh that's very that's very nice i of course i i don't have all of that merchandise uh but i do of course uh i do have uh my trusty knife uh right here george no no george no uh i i mean it's of course mickey mouse world fair no i'm ptsd from that knife george <laughs> i'll do it again <laughs> I know you will, and that terrifies me. <laughs> you know what? It's like Jazz is saying, I'm worried for Belushi B. I would never hurt Belushi B. <laughs> never. Um, Belushi B, I have a question for you. Um, how do you feel about uh, being featured on Seth Meyers? Exciting, yeah? <laughs> I'm now part of the show permanently. You I'm are. Very I'm very, very proud of that. As yeah. you should be. Big news. I, I am naturally a star, so. <laughs> it's true. It's true. Well, George, what a show. <laughs> what a show we have planned today. Am I right? We have never done this before, ever, but we're going to open this up to anyone who wants to come in and hang out with us. We want we want to see your beautiful Halloween costumes. Uh, so please, um, I believe, I guess we have to share uh, a link in the oh, chat room. Yes, I will do that in a moment. But um, George, we have a, we have a new guest um, who's gonna be joining us that I, I would like to bring into the, the stream. Um, well, of course. Guest, guest, how would you like, I guess you've been on the show before, but how would you like to be introduced? Why don't you put it in the private chat, how you would like to be introduced? <laughs> and then uh, I know Watto isn't here. Watto couldn't be with us tonight. Um, but uh, I will, I will uh, introduce our guest in a moment. And we'll do that for all of you, like all of you that want to join, um, we'll do this. So our guest, everyone, I'm so excited. Please welcome Andrew, parentheses, a bumblebee, end parentheses. Hello. Thank you for having me. <laughs> I feel um, not to be here. You know, I was of, just about to say, you know, you're not. We bee culture here tonight. Um, but yes, we have in the chat for anyone who would like to join us tonight, a thing that we've never, ever, ever done before. We've never invited non-randoms to come on stream with us, uh, ever. Am I right? Ever. Ever. <laughs> I, I'm not familiar with the program. <laughs> oh, right, 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 right. Well, George, um, do you remember the 
that you used to be on uh, Chris Gethard's Twitch channel, Planet Scum. Oh, oh! I always thought it was Planets Come. Is that not correct? <laughs> Good point. It's a good point. Um, I, a common misconception, I think. It, it may have been a play on words, if you will, a pun, one might say. Um, but uh, there's some weird stuff from like way, way back in his early fandom where they would pick these people called randoms to do, I don't know what. I was one and I still don't know what the job was. Um, but this show. The, those people, those people who used to be randoms, uh, take calls from from folks, both uh, uh, voicemails, and sometimes we do them live, though do not call in on the Discord tonight. We have no way of talking to you if you call in on the Discord. Uh, but the workaround is that, again, you can join us. Join us. Join um, us. And show us uh, show us your Halloween costumes if you have one. Um, you can bring your child with you and let them try to dox your address the way that uh, some small germs might have last year on Mary Land's painting party. Um, but uh, yeah, oh, I know Mary. I know Mary's show. Right, 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 right. Mary was Mary ever on GLTS? Uh, no, but I was on Mary's show once. Oh, that you know, that's funny. I didn't realize you were. I knew that um, I, Patrick Cotner, apparently, <laughs> uh, had been on with um, a friend of the show, uh, Griffin Newman. He's he's big into cooking salmon. I don't know if you've ever heard of him. Um, and also friend of the show. Isn't and that Patrick's and roommate? Yes, yes, Pat. Well, no, actually, like they have the same. Oh name. no, it's Griffin Connor. Is is yes. Yeah. I was just about to say, yeah, and, the and not, names and are very similar. The other person who had been on Mary's show was um, that guy who got fired by Tom Hanks, Connor Ratliff. I don't know if you've ever heard of him before. Oh, hmm, no. Yeah, it's a shame. Uh, they're they're funny, very funny. Actually, very I funny think, people. I think Zach Cherry enjoys that um that podcast mm -hmm. it's it's a good podcast <laughs> um oh yes as as lena pointed out i know i highlighted griffin as a renowned salmon chef but he is also about to be in a disney movie he mm -hmm. is uh, the voice of pip and disenchanted and if you have a disney podcast he is desperate to promote this movie <laughs> Um, and he will go on your podcast to talk about it. So it's fun times. It's fun times. Uh, so George, tell me, obviously, I know tonight we're talking Halloween and Halloween costumes. And I know... I believe the holiday is called Halloween. Oh, sorry. Halloween, of course. Watto's not here tonight. So it's it's making it slip my mind. Um, and obviously none of us are in costumes. We are all here as our actual so, self. Yeah. Uh, but what was, like, what did you go around on Halloween as, George? Like, what were your some of your favorite Halloween costumes? Um, Ooh, sometimes, oh um, <laughs> sometimes I like to um, dress up as uh, Star Trek characters because they never expect it. That's fun. That's fun. That is a lot of fun, George. It's a lot of fun. But usually people recognize me from um, Beverly Hills Cop 3. That's where most people recognize me from. I mean, where else would they recognize you from? It's your, it's your biggest role to date, right? Um, I, was also, I was also in Hook. Right, you were making out with Carrie Fisher. Right. Yep. Good, lucky man. Good for you. <laughs> Good for you. Um, I have a next to me a whole stack of photos because you we know me, you Patrick Cotner. I always have photos of when I was little. <laughs> <laughs> Lena, uh, uh, Lena makes a very good point. Uh, uh, oh, true. From the OFC. True. 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 That is a great point. I um, was also in an episode of uh, Just Shoot Me. 
Mm. Um, somewhere in this big stack of photos, I have some fun old Halloween costumes. Um, but while I do that, uh, Andrew, a bumblebee, what about you? What if it, oh, you, we, did, did we talk about some of your favorite Halloween yeah, costumes? So I, I'm, obviously you, you folks are, are, are just being yourself, but I actually dressed up for tonight. I'm actually, no. I'm, I'm, I'm specific, Andrew. I'm, I'm, you know me, or you don't know me. Oh, I've met you. Oh, but shit. <laughs> the regular viewers know me. Um, just in disguise tonight for Halloween. It's a very convincing costume. I was thank cool. you. Thank you. Um, one, uh, one thing I didn't really, or no, you know what? I kind of anticipated, but I don't know if anybody else has polarized prescription sunglasses. But they interact with screens in a very interesting way. So I have these weird, like, dead spots and, like, have to hold my head at a specific angle to see the screen. Well, I mean, that makes sense if you're specific, Andrew, that you would have to be That's specific true. about how you looked at your screen, right? Um, yeah, it's true. Uh, but, yeah, in terms of past, I, I will uh, I'll find my, uh, what, I'm, what I'm recreating. So I mentioned it in a previous episode, oh, right. but I have a, a very uh, overly conceptual sort of system for determining my Halloween costumes as of late, where I repeat the costume or do something inspired by the costume of what I was uh, 30 years previously. Mm -hmm. um, so this year is actually the same I believe I my according to my mother, I was a B two years in a row. Some of the dates are a little fuzzy, but I believe last year and this year I'm both a B. And then I think next year I'm Superman. Ooh, um, but I didn't plan I didn't plan this well ahead because last year I made beautiful classic pipe cleaner wings and antenna with you know styrofoam balls painted black, and it was really really classic and elegant. And uh, then of course, at some point in the last year, I thought, well, I'm not gonna use those again and got rid of them. And then I foolishly realized slash found out that I uh, am doing a B again. So here I am. You pulled it out though. Looks great. Thank you. I had to do some, some buying of cheap, non-homemade B wings and antenna, which is a bit of a bummer, but uh, you know what? They do the trick. They get the job done. I like it. Um, if so I um, if yeah. I put a picture into, what's the best way to get a picture on screen? Um, if you want to DM me, I okay. can uh, open it and share my screen. All right, because I have. Uh, I'm not sure if it was this this year's or last year's. If there was in fact a two B situation. Mm -hmm. very to be or not to be. George, you're this so is why you, why you're the storyteller here. Uh, but yeah, I have a very cute picture of myself as a very small person. I love it. I love it. Um, while you are damning that to me, I it, even though I, Patrick Cotner, love digitizing my family's photos and videos, these are not digitized. I have physical copies of them in front of me. Um, this is very washed out, but can you see little baby me dressed as a, a prisoner? Oh boy. <laughs> oh boy, indeed. Um, this is uh, also a little baby me dressed as a nightmare. What the fuck is this? <laughs> Whoa. That looks like a licensed branded thing, but for what? It, I don't know. It is. And the thing is, like, this, um, I know that I, Patrick Connor, was born sometime in the 90s. <laughs> um, this is the uh, 19. 80s, though, you know, I have magical powers and was able to go back in time. Um, and uh, Halloween costumes were nightmare. Like, it's, it's a not Rainbow Bright. It's no. like a brand Rainbow Bright. I genuinely have no idea what it is, but it's like a terrifying mask and then just like a plastic dress with the face on it. 
There's That's another how all one. costumes were for a very long time. <laughs> this one I at least know is She-Ra, but like here's another oh, yeah. like, <laughs> nightmare. Like, yeah. but this oh, is at yeah. least clearly She-Ra. Mm -hmm. As I can feel the hard plastic, like not even hard, but just like sharp. That, that oh, yeah. sharp, sharp is the word. Yes, the yeah. sharp plastic mask. And then here oh. I am. Wow, inspiring. Uh, the thing that I uh, know, I there's a, I know I was this one year, but none of my parents can find photos of this. Neither Julie nor whatever my dad's name is. Uh, <laughs> and uh, <laughs> oh wait, we have another guest with us. Oh my God, <laughs> Kylo Ren. Kylo Ren, you are muted. <laughs> Grand director, show me the. Beauty of the darkness again. <laughs> no, not canon. None of this is canon. That's true. That's true. If if Darth came in, it'd be a different story. But JJ is my father, and you are my grandfather, George. <laughs> I love it. I love it so much. It was George, a fool. Have you ever have you ever met um, Emily Pineapple? Uh, Hi, George. Big fan. Yeah, I, I think so. I, I think we we talk all the time. Yeah, we're best friends. I love yeah. that. I love yeah. that. Uh, I grew up near Lucas Valley. He bought Lucas Valley. It was called Lucas Valley before he bought it. Oh, that's exciting, oh. right? That's right, exciting. George. It's great. Yeah, I only um, buy things that are already named me. So yeah, that's, that's why. I, that's why I named the uh, most famous main character in my movie after me as well mm -hmm. <laughs> um i i am gonna jump back a little bit in the conversation and uh <laughs> let's take let's take a look at that oh another b <laughs> that was me give or take 30 oh. years ago oh god oh my god i love that so much do you know what you're eating in that uh i don't and as I just said my glasses don't really work oh, uh, true. also <laughs> i do not know how to zoom in because i am I'm not actually a good producer <laughs> yeah it's well, some type of fruit it's halloween so it's gotta be candy oh yeah that's true that's true um but that's very very cute Oh, very, very. Yeah. Approximately how old are you there, Andrew? Uh, that will be probably three. Oh, my God. Maybe four. Again, the, there's there's a two-year B continuum. Yep. It might have been two, three. might have been three, four. Yeah. Somewhere there. Nice. Nice. Love it. Thank you for sharing. Goodness. Um... But yes, okay. I what I was saying is I, I cannot find any photos of this and neither of my parents seem to remember. But there was <laughs> one year, again, in when I magically transported. Uh, uh, oh, George, do you have a cat that decided to say hello when Studio Cat popped up? No, he camera? refuses. He refuses. Oh, <gasps> refuses. Tisk tisk. He's tisk, never tisk. been on the show before. They know you're here. They because. Tail. <laughs> oh, lose that dog. <laughs> uh, but one year, apparently, I dressed as um, Cher. Mm -hmm. I, I know I dressed as Cher. I remember dressing as Cher, but no one has photographic evidence of it. I wore one of my mom's very fancy sparkly tops Ooh. as a dress and had a big black belt around it. And there was a big ass curly black wig that they put on me. It was like wow. turn back time era share, mm -hmm. but I wasn't in like a bodysuit. Well, if you could turn back time, then. Mm -hmm. It's true. I would go back and get those photos <laughs> is what I would do. <laughs> Just grab past you and then bring you on stream real quick. Oh my God, that would be great. I mean, I am, oh, speaking of time travel, do you want to hear something batshit crazy that I found out? Yes. One of, one of my best friends who I've known for 
over a decade, who is a massive cinephile. She tweeted something the other day that was like her pictures of her like her like blind spot movies that she's never seen. And she's like, some, uh, some of them um, I'll probably never see. Do you know what one of them fucking was? Back to the goddamn future. <laughs> she has never seen Back to the fucking future. Oh, well, what a treat. She gets to see it now. I don't know if she ever will. That's the thing. Her whole thing was like, I probably won't ever see these and I'm okay with it. And I was like, ah, like back to the future. I really like Back to the Future. I think it's a great movie. I really enjoy it. But there are also certain movies that if you see them at the right age, which yeah. is often young, they are the mm. best movies in the world. And if you see them as an adult, they're fine. <laughs> I know. I know. She, what like, she, also, she said she she also hasn't seen E.T. And E.T. Mm. is a movie that I think might fall into that category. Mm. Like E.T., I think when you see young, I think E.T. is a wonderful movie no matter what age you see it. Yeah. But I think when you see it young, it imprints on you in a certain way. Um, that's different than if you see it as like a full grown adult. Um, but yeah. <laughs> she does like uh, Game of Thrones. I just can't believe that we have to wait so long for more hot D. I don't watch it, but I listen oh, to the podcast. I just realized that's what it is. Got slash hot D. Not hot D. I got that hot D. You haven't seen that hot D? I think that Alice Dot Deals should make a shirt that says that. Yeah. Hot D. <laughs> the internet's boyfriend. He's killing people and incesting. He's on hot D. Wait, is is who Matt is Matt Smith the internet's boyfriend? Matt Smith is the internet's boyfriend the people who did the show had a quote that was like we don't we were surprised that so many people like really really wanted to fuck that character because like no one in the show is good but like they're like really fucking apologists for him and it's like right he's that smith <laughs> it's not because of the character it's the forehead within it. I also feel like how did they send him? He has like a weird energy to him that I feel like a, when he channeled it in a in into Eleven as the Doctor, it was very specific. Mm -hmm. And like watching it transition and just like the weird shit that he's done with like. Morbius <laughs> and <laughs> last night in Soho or, or whatnot. But, like, but yeah. he, have you seen Morbius yet? I, Patrick Cotner, have not seen Morbius. <laughs> um, even though I did used to work for Marvel, I don't know if you know that. <laughs> um, but folks, I have um, more Halloween costumes to share Ooh. from viewers. <gasps> Ooh. Yeah, Ooh. Right now. or i should say viewer who is a, another halloween enthusiast who sent us a bunch um so shout out to uh our good friend janos who sent over yes. a number of adorable costumes uh <gasps> so look at that look at that i love it i love it so much oh, <laughs> Uh, we also have, um, oh, this is where the wild things are, Janos. Thank you for putting these in the titles of the images. 2009. Um, uh, Marceline the Vampire Queen. Oh, cute. <laughs> Love it. Uh, and then Hit Girl. Oh, wow. Oh. Ooh. I know. Really good. Right. I know. Look at that with like that wig. And the purple it's tie, nice it's like, what a look. Yeah. What a vibe. Those are great. The girl was 2013. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Um, so yes, if if you want to join us in chat and talk about Halloween yeah, costumes, yeah. 
you are more than welcome to. I am uh, sharing the link again. Or if you uh, don't necessarily want to come on screen, you are more than welcome to uh, DM my close personal friend, Beautiful City, on Discord. And she will, um, oh my God, look, at Kylo is now a cat. <laughs> Um, and uh, my close friend, Beautiful City, will make sure, uh, will come to the other side of Astoria and make sure that I get whatever uh, images you DM. Also, if you just want to show us um, your cats uh, wearing a mask, we would also yeah. love to see that. That's so true. That's so, so, so true. Oh, Cat Loren, I like it. I like it. Wish I could get more of the lens flare in with him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's very JJ. It's true. What do they do to my beautiful masterpiece? <laughs> and by <laughs> beautiful masterpiece, of course, I mean the Phantom Menace. <laughs> oh, mm -hmm. oh, we folks, folks, we have a we have a special special oh, brand yeah. new guest that has joined us. Guest. If you can hear me in the backstage, there is a button that says private chat. If you could put into it how you would like me to introduce you, and I will say it verbatim. Very clear. Verbatim. Mm -hmm. verbatim. You can make Patrick say anything now. It's just right true. now. It's true. Um, I am also excited because I don't believe this person has ever been on the show before. Ooh, Ooh. A new friend. Mm -hmm. yes. Oh, here we go. Grogu, <laughs> sorry, Watto's not here. I'm not used to saying it like this. <laughs> um, Do it again, Patrick. <laughs> get it clean. <sighs> Bryson. <sighs> Grow grues and gra gras. There we go. It's a tough words to say. Grow <laughs> Grow grues and gra gras. Please welcome Glenn Jerry Ross, high school senior from Forks Washington High School, class of 08. Hey, how's everyone doing? <laughs> My goodness. Glenn, this is, a, I'm there. <laughs> this is a support group for spooky supernaturals, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Good. good, good, good. I'm not going to interrupt you guys' this thing, you know, whenever you do the, hey, my name is, I'm here for it. Um, <laughs> I got yeah. my, my white, I heard this is online. If you say these things, I got a white claw surge. Ooh. So if white, if Mr. Surge wants to give me a call, I got your white claw here and I'll take more of it if you want. So, nice. <laughs> but I don't interrupt your thing. Sorry. No, no, no. You, you joined us at I'm a assuming we all, stream. we've all seen some shit. So yeah. Um, Glenn, <laughs> I, I'm wondering, uh, Forks, the class of 08 from Forks yeah. High School, yep. that, that feels like an important graduation huh. year. Yeah. Um, yeah. Why do I know the? Why do I know the class of 08? Like, tell me a little bit about your your fellow classmates. Yeah, um, who, who was valedictorian that year? Yeah, mm -hmm. good there was. Um, it was interesting. So we had some traumatic events happen at our school. Oh no! Um, nothing as terrible as some of the other schools see, um, but some weird goings on uh, that uh, kind of left us all a little shell shocked. Uh, they turned it into a movie. Uh, I think someone wrote some, some like uh, nonfiction yeah. articles about it, compiled it into several different sagas. Um, they made some documentary right? films on it. They got big. Like I think domestically, I, I really only watch like VHSs that I played, collected from the eighties uh, and mm -hmm. HBO Max. So I just apparently have missed it between those two just things. Uh, but uh yeah so no i just uh you probably heard from it from that i think they've done some features uh yeah 50 shades of gray right yes that's thank yep. you yeah 50 you're shades welcome. of gray yeah that's you're the welcome. one mm -hmm. i knew so it. you know some scary shit went down in our town let me tell you that's true uh, mm -hmm. that's very, very so i think so what your trauma is you had bees and you're stalked by a bee you must be like, 
we must have to collect so many hats that it makes it a pill to move. Yeah, um, <laughs> yeah, it does. Yeah, that's it does. right. Did someone kidnap your franchise in the middle of the night and replace it with a check for four billion dollars? Mm -hmm. It's a, it was a crime. Too. <laughs> it was a crime. Mm. I was robbed. I called the authorities immediately after it happened. Okay. I'm going to switch hats. I have so many hats that I'm going to switch. Um, you can also yeah. get it in lime if you want to get it in lime as well. Mm -hmm. um, what differentiates the surge from a regular white claw? How much I'm going to burp after drinking it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I saw that food review too, Lena. <laughs> mm -hmm. Not as good as Surge, the drink from the 90s, though, let me tell you. Mm, it's true. It's true. Um, now, Glenn, mm -hmm. if given the choice, like, just I'm just going to pull two names Oh. out of thin air right like if you had mm -hmm. to pick between two people like would you be team edward or team jacob i well, know like, it's so weird that i picked those names like i don't it's know really I interesting that you would say that because um you might not be able to tell from the outfit that i'm wearing but i'm 100 team jacob oh nice specifically jacob why haven't you called me man <laughs> like i know you're single I know you're ready to mingle, man. Like, you haven't returned. It's been a while. Like, just saying. But uh, I'm going to have Team Jacob all the way. Yeah, a, few yeah, weeks yeah, yeah, yeah. a few weeks ago, we had um, somebody call in with a bunch of uh, minor league baseball teams. Yeah. Um, is there any amateur baseball in that area? You know, amateur baseball, specifically minor teams, is an interesting passion of mine. Uh, did you know that they have wild mascots that, uh, that are pretty interesting? You should uh, tell us about those. Yeah. I will, but, uh, you know, I don't want to interrupt your thing, you know, if, if you know, I just, you need a little bit more time or if I need a little bit more time, you know. Of course. Of course. Mm -hmm. Of course, of course. I don't want to ruin it. Oh, here we are. So um, what about the Dust Devils? Ooh. You can see the Tri-City Dust Devils, which specifically is the area of Pasco, Washington. Okay. All right. One for you. Or <clears throat> the Rainiers, named after, of course, Mount Rainier, which is expected to blow up at any moment, much like Mount St. Helens. And Aqua Socks, the so named because you have every other color sock, why not one, named after Aquamarine. And also, Walla Walla, Washington, the same place as the Blue Mountain Bears. Mm -hmm. Aqua Sox, the Blue Ball Bears. Well, like they're naming something after the experience of having wet socks, which is truly one of the one of life's best. One of the amazing experience. Oh, what you're not a wet sock? You don't go on a Splash Mountain and you dip them in before you go on the ride. No, I nice do not. And, wet, and then you my slide socks. your I... knee <laughs> socks back on. You guys are doing Disney World wrong. <laughs> Oh, okay, Mike Carlson. Okay. <laughs> oh, you know him too? He's great. I was on Podcast the Ride. I, Patrick Cotner, was mm -hmm. on a Second Gate episode of yeah, Podcast the Ride about oh. something Muppets related. I don't I'm part of me. Club Three. I'm well aware. <laughs> I don't I'm actually remember what my what my uh, topic was so i'm gonna look it up right now <laughs> and of course then, uh, then yeah mike also met george at uh one of the after dark yes yeah. that's very true the uh mike stuck around for quite a while on an after dark um george if you do you remember when you got to meet mcgruff the crime dog <laughs> i don't the rock star <laughs> I don't remember most of the things that have happened on on uh, the so talk show. Good, um, good I point. mean, it's all a fever dream to me now. Do you know his uh, song about cracking cocaine? Oh, it's so good. <laughs> nobody's doing the crack of cocaine. There's terrible trouble behind it. And sooner or later, you're ruining your brain, making a mess of your mind. Oh my god, it's like McGruff showed up. This is there's a whole last last month there's a whole two part episode of uh Decoder Ring just about that album. Goes goes mm -hmm. pretty 
It's so good. That is um, when people ask me what uh, podcast the rise, like, cause they're, they've been doing the show for five years. Like what should they listen to first? That was a Patreon episode that they ended up like a year or two later releasing on their main feed. I have listened to that one so many times it, and it gets me every single time. It is so funny. Have you heard Mike Carlson's modern day smart kid songs? I have indeed. <laughs> He is an insane person, and it hey, is great. It made me quit vaping, man. I went right back to flower after that. <laughs> oh, man. Man, oh, man. Um, all right, let's 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 talk more Halloween costumes and things yeah. like that. Um, Emily, let's hear from you. Well, Rebecca, I'm the only one in costume tonight, right? That's true. You are, I in fact. I dress up. <laughs> There you go. We do have um, a second, a second costume person. Um, Emily, what have been some of your favorite Halloween costumes you've done over the years? Um, I I have no pictures of this, mm -hmm. and I know not where it resides. But one year, I wanted to be a lightning bolt for Halloween, and so my mother got me a mask that had a lightning bolt on it. And I had a black bodysuit that she like tacked like silver sequence like band on mm -hmm. in the shape of a lightning bolt. And I oh. wore a silver wig. And she said, I am never ever going to do that ever again. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, I did not realize I would have to sew so much. <laughs> That's fun though. I like it a lot. Mom. I like it a lot. <laughs> Gosh. Have you all uh, already talked about your favorite Halloween costumes that you've you've worn? Mm. Oh, good old, good old our my boy, the sector keeper. Dude, oh. we do love. I mean, pretty sweet. Spooky. Pretty sweet. Spooky. Boys, boys. You know, it's, it's easily appropriate. It's true. It's true. Um, but yes, we have been talking uh, favorite Halloween costumes. Um, Glenn, what uh, what about you? What have been, I, and I, I know it's hard, like when you grow up in an area mm -hmm. where like there's so much lore mm -hmm. and just sort of uh, uh, mystique, right? Like yeah. associated with the town that you grew up in. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm sure Halloween is a weird uh, uh, holiday for you, but like when you were younger, pre the incidents, mm -hmm. um, what were some of your favorite costumes? Um, so my family was really freaked out by all of the uh, supernatural goings. There were those kind of parents that saw the devil everywhere, and so Halloween was a big no no, we didn't mess with that. So, uh, I actually never did Halloween uh growing up uh we would always just stay in our basement uh uh every year and just watch like other stuff and just let all the trees go by and the blurred line between reality and character might not be very much right here in that answer <laughs> <laughs> i love that i yeah. love that um and i think we should probably uh direct it all this question as well to uh to belushi b belushi b we have not forgotten about you uh what what types of costumes would belushi b like to dress up on during like prime snl days uh <clears throat> mostly musical guests uh, a lot of 70s a lot of long 70s wigs early 80s maybe um no late 70s i think i'd say and um some of the classics, a little David Bowie, a little Mick Jagger. Um, I'm not afraid to get in front of a band. <laughs> of course. I you can really tell by the way you carry yourself. You've got a real, like, classic blues man energy. Yeah. Belushi Once I B got a wig like this, and I was Lauren Michaels. Oh. Uh, Belushi B, I remember when you were Joe Crocker B on <laughs> SNL, and I remember thinking, wow. What's the bit? <laughs> it was great. Yeah, I feel like I peaked there, you know? 
it was just like he's transcended and is just singing the song. I'm like, fuck, and he's singing well. Oh, can I swear? Is the FCC gonna come after us? I didn't, I don't want the FCC on our ass. I'm really sorry, guys. I I plead the fifth uh, as to whether or not I said fuck on the air. You're all good. Okay, Man, we we can say whatever fuck, yeah. the fuck we want on here. I have um I have this capitalism is a lie. What? I have this completely unrelated picture that I somehow have that someone shared with me recently. Oh, really? Which has someone that you might recognize when they were uh, very young uh, going to a popular midnight Halloween related movie. Oh, interesting. It was the Apple, wasn't it? Oh, I wish. Oh, you can't see this at can all. you pull it back a little bit? Let's see. Maybe if I pull myself back. Mm. Not a little bit too sheen, too much Charlie in it. Not enough. Of, there it is. Hey yo. Wow. Uh, someone named Alice Forever Cemetery has a great question in the chat. <laughs> yeah, it's almost like if someone disappears, things just start going wobbledy bobbledy on you. Um, I'll, I'll, Alice, Alice, I this is Andrew. You might not recognize me. Um. I'm the only one who's a holdover from previous weeks. Everyone else here is is a new guest, so um, I guess I'll, I'll I'll take some responsibility. Just you know, it, it oh. got kind of out of hand, but we got some we got some oh. great new faces here. So oh, so you people oh. let anyone onto the screen, won't you? Without much vetting beforehand, folks. Speaking of letting anyone onto the stream, we have a special guest. Um, I'm going to ask the special guest. Hello, special guest. <laughs> special guest, if you can hear me, uh, please put in the private chat how you would like uh, to be uh, introduced, and I will read it verbatim. Now, is this a with special guest or a special guest? <clears throat> I don't know. Well, let them pick themselves, I guess. Speaking of special guest, I do think I need to go deal with the FCC trying to shut <laughs> down this channel. Yeah. Uh, word. Wow. Wow. <laughs> um, while our, oh, oh, okay. Uh, so I do have some images. Ooh. George, thank you for sending me those random images of, of a random person. Um, I will share those in a moment. But first... I would like to welcome Grow Gurus and Gr why can I not say that fucking word? <laughs> Grow Goose and Grog Gras, your friendly neighborhood spider pal. Hello, hey. spider pal. Hey. So nice to be here among so many other insects. <laughs> Hello. How are you doing? We're doing great. Spider pal, how are you? Welcome. Great, uh, great. Whatever this is. <laughs> this, the, the seam in the middle of your face is very unnerving. <laughs> <laughs> Visibility is also really good. <laughs> you type crime so well. Oh, man. It's like when yeah. um, Spider Man <laughs> had an extra mutation and started like becoming even more of a spider. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Like that. With the extra yeah, arm, the other really. yeah, arms happening, you just can't see them. They're off camera. Yeah. I walk away for two seconds and Spider Gib comes out. What the hell? <laughs> I'm not to you. It's kind of personal. I have multiple lives. Yeah. I love that. I you shoot a lot of webs in your spare time. Yeah. yeah. I love it. Who doesn't? Okay, so I'm going to bring up these uh, random photos of a random person that uh, George sent me uh, up first. I, I'm sorry, Ooh. I can't zoom in, but the next one is closer. Look at that. Wow. Who, who are we going to get here? I mean, not, not, who, who are the, what are the costumes? <laughs> Again, my uh, are not <laughs> serving me <laughs> up. Uh, this is, uh, these are costumes people wore to a popular Halloween themed midnight showing of, um, Rocky Horror Picture Show. Mm -hmm. Ah, yes. Incredible. And, uh, characters. Love it. Beautiful. Love it, love it. Um, all right. If we get any additional special guests, I do like this 
intro mm -hmm. yaddles and yo-yos it is <laughs> much easier to say i don't know how Watto does it <laughs> with the other no. one i know i know who yaddle is yeah is that who's, another yoda in, in canon or in legends good question i think okay. that i should know this <laughs> how is uh is it not a short yo -yo. yoda like it's yoda instead of that it's yo-yo I might just be, or it's Mama, one of the two. I'm, I'm uh, hinting to Wikipedia here. I don't think Gragas is a thing either. He must have missed no. something. So Gragas, Gragas is a character from Episode One who appears. Really? Yeah. I have no idea. Uh, of course, I, I shouldn't have doubted Alice. Uh, there is a, there is a character named Yo Yo. Oh no, a device named Yo Yo. There's multiple. <laughs> Multiple entries on Wikipedia. Um, so if, if Glenn found a photo yeah. of Glenn dressed as a zombie eating a sandwich, where does Glenn send that photo to? So, um, Glenn, uh, I, Patrick Cotner, am very close friends with uh, Beautiful City. Oh, she's beautiful like, and a city. I love her. It's true. It the whole finds, city uh, is beautiful and the whole yeah. beautiful is Damn, city. I wish she was here. Oh, tell her I love her. It's great. Will do, will do. Um, but yes, if you wouldn't mind uh, DMing her. Um, I can ooh, slide yeah. right into them like it's home base and I am on a league of their own starring Darcy Carden. Oh, and Andy. <laughs> uh, we have a new um, addition uh, from a, another friend who has sent us <laughs> this ooh, delightful. And Oswald Cobblepot himself? Could be. I believe so. I believe so oh, thank Definitely. you for sending it in a way that allows me to zoom. <laughs> like the skeleton in the background too. I know it's um, great. Quick, uh, quick Wikipedia update. The Wikipedia mm -hmm. article for Yo Yo is just Yo Yos. It's the toy. Is it's it in Star Wars? Well, I think it was just referenced in a couple Star Wars books okay. and and or role playing games, and then someone was like, "Well." They they reference a metaphorical yo-yo, something being strung out like a yo-yo. Better make a Wikipedia page. Something to play with a yo-yo. So it's like, well, that's canon. I, um, I wrote um, a draft for the movie where they had um, lightsaber yo-yos. <laughs> um, Sounds dangerous. Fun. But we ended up uh, removing it from the final cut. Oh. I love all this trivia, George. <laughs> Uh, here, oh. here is a lovely photo of uh, Glenn as a zombie. That's great makeup, Glenn. Yeah, and a good sub, probably. Great makeup. Amazing. Thanks. For, uh, Glenn, Glenn, Glenn forgot who, Glenn, who people were talking to for a second. Because <laughs> <laughs> Glenn is looking up another photo. Don't worry. Glenn's <laughs> great at Glenn's great at broadcasting. <laughs> Um, Alice does bring up a good point, George. There's no indication if they fuck. In uh, no, no, actually, I believe they definitely George do. Lucas, you have a you you have revealed there's a theory about Jedi's and ghosts that involve. Oh, do you want to reveal that there is canonical fucking? You, it's your story. You you tell it. I mean, er everybody should know at this point that um, uh, Jedi is Force Ghost. Uh, is from the moment that they uh, lost their virginity. We all know that. I've... Everybody knows that. Glenn's Everybody watched knows that. that 12 times and has laughed harder each time he watches it because <laughs> it's so funny. That's just canon. True. Also, we do definitely know that um, uh, or we don't know, but I believe we established on George Lucas Talk Show that Shmi Fox. Mm -hmm. Oh, right. Yeah, that's true. But, yeah. And so does Shmi. It's me. Yeah, it's me and Shmi both. Uh, both from fun. from Shmi from Peter Pan. Yes. Yeah. 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 Oh, please put it in Shmi. harder. Oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> yeah. uh, we have this is uh, my first time on the show. I can't go blue like that. I'm so sorry, y'all. <laughs> it's, oh, it's, 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 it's these damn surges, I tell you. <laughs> um, we have more <laughs> costumes to share. Lena canonically, Han and Leia do fuck. I mean, uh, probably, yeah. They had a we've got a, that's not controversial. That's just apparent. We have a... Uh, a parent. 
a great uh, I love this. I love this. That's, I love <laughs> which this. is wonderful. Um, and we also I, have uh, whoa, who's that? Uh, Whoa, so, uh, Glenn, uh, Glenn, those what horns. Was this? Look yeah. at those horns. Can you zoom in? I can, unfortunately. No, that's, that was from a friend's <laughs> cell phone cam in 2007. He yeah. should not yeah. zoom in anymore. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> Incredible. It's wonderful. It's absolutely wonderful. Um, I am going to go point us back to stuff in the chat. Uh, Alice, chat? clarify something by the fact that, like, Oh, yeah. We don't know if they call it fucking or even having sex. Like, right, let's let's look on Wikipedia. We can get some. Uh, yeah, not, this not many. Um, not Let's not many know who uh, knows this, but uh, since jizz is a uh, music in Star Wars, uh, jazz is actually a very offensive word. Oh, <laughs> that's probably true. <laughs> wow. Guys, You're, great, minds, great minds think alike. I was also about to set up a jizz joke. <laughs> Great men think alike. I'm with, I'm with Alice. I want implied organ into orifice. I want Game of Thrones, but Star Wars. Yep. Um, mine was gonna be uh, if you listen to enough jazz music, then you're gonna blarf. You know, you can't <laughs> blarf. Jazz <laughs> leads to dancing. Dancing leads to blarfing. <laughs> There's a lot of sleepovers. It's true. <laughs> Look, all I'm saying is there's a page on Wikipedia that has uh, non-reproductive sexual activities, so I think they do. So. I'm an expert in non-reproductive sexual activity. <laughs> I mean, good, good for you. Goodness. Oh, folks. Oh, folks. Um, thank you to everyone who has shared photos these have been an absolute delight to look at have there been have has chat been sharing photos chat you should share photos yeah. Thank you, Shane. Uh, yeah. i showed Thank myself you. as mr tumness you can't there's nothing worse than that you can show <laughs> um we had our our janos uh uh shots before thank you again to janos for that um if janos anyone wants to share you can uh dm again my good friend beautiful city mm -hmm. and she will run from the other side of astoria and bring them to me so nice of her Aww. hit blasting hit blasting would be a name for fucking in star wars Alice. <laughs> being trigger happy that's i know part of the same coin but still sure uh, would, it, would it just be calling drawing the lightsaber? Is that anything? Or would only Jedi kind of use that as like churches being like, now you don't want to draw your saber when you're alone, you know? What do you think, well, George? I think that if you do, then you should make sure you do it uh, faster and more intense. Good, good. Um, you guzzle jazz in Star Wars. <laughs> uh, obviously, um, Bullseyeing Womp Rats in your Skyhopper. Oh, I bullseyed Womp Rats. Yeah. Love that. Hmm. Um, apparently, the there Naboo, is a one adult I'm sleepover. Just now. At least hmm. one adult sleepover in uh, the Star Wars book Lost Stars. There you go. They lost more than just stars. <laughs> okay, so. Well, if you're, so if you're, say, like a person that has a sentient computer and you're alone with it a lot and they see things, that's called defragging, right? Yeah, of course. Sure. Okay, good. Cool. Of course. Uh, Holy shit, the Nabu Dabu. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> that, uh, <laughs> it's up to your imagination what it is. Uh, we have this. Oh, board. my fucking oh, gourd. Ooh, babies. Look, look, not, to, not to immediately flip from uh, what we call sex in the Star Wars universe. Oh, <laughs> pumpkin babies, but look They're pumpkin cute. babies. It looks like oh, Offie Valerie has also served time with. Uh, <laughs> it does look like Offie <laughs> Valerie and uh, and I were maybe cellmates. <laughs> <laughs> Friends for life. 
Yes, Alice, <laughs> I do think uh, Grand Moff Tarkin says he may fire when ready when he bottoms for Vader. Thank you for bringing that up. <laughs> That's important to know. Even if he's a CGI version of Tarkin. I bet he could do even better. Um, some people are into restraining bolts. <laughs> Ooh. Yep. Some more adorable costumes. Um, I've uh, heard of, I've heard of phrase before from, called uh, Oh, oh my yeah. god, they're showing up. Oh, is that cute. very cute. Yeah, it's really cute. Uh -huh. And then this is I another, wish I cared enough about Halloween, Halloween to do Incredible. this. I know. It's another nice uh, yeah. old, not high high res photo that I can't zoom in on. <laughs> I, <can't see> it. <laughs> I uh, just learned how to open pictures in a certain way on uh, Discord. I have definitely in my life let the Wookiee win, if you know what I mean. <laughs> yeah, wink, wink. I mean, double ended lightsaber is not even a euphemism. <laughs> That's just true. <laughs> Bearing the lightsaber, as we found out in the ninth film. Um, <laughs> Oh God, no! I just said that loud. I just used. I just thought of how you could use the force sexually, and I'm just that's just too much. I need to back off from there. Okay. Um, the Coruscant cunning linguistics. <laughs> that's just pad alliteration. Um, wow. Okay. Wow. Do huts? Do huts? Or how does that work? I, I, I assume we've all watched. Do they have to use the salacious beak crumb during <laughs> intercourse somehow? Is that why he's always on hand? Oh, no. <laughs> I, I assume we've all watched it before, but I'm just confirming. Has everyone watched the clips of Diego Luna talking about Yaba? Yes. Oh God, do I want to know what AO <laughs> Lena? Do I want to know what AOE three is? Oh, AOE three. You gotta know what AOE three is. I know what AOE three is. That's Age of Empires three, right? A video game, yeah. right? Not, not quite. Oh. No, Lena's right. <laughs> I've i decided to switch. A here. little push, 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 and tush, tush. <laughs> If anyone hasn't seen uh, oh, no. Diego Luna, please please look it up on your own time. It is You're right. it's absolutely it's fantastic. Still I just say, I did not have a crush on the actor who plays Andor in Rogue One, but this, somehow the TV show, made me really attracted to him real fast. <laughs> Don't know what it was, but my God. Ba -ba -boom. He was have, oh, Glenn, with you. oh, Glenn, you're going to have a fun evening. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Will it be a fun evening or a very fun and then shortly falling asleep evening? That sounds fun. Okay, good. Um, Patrick Cotner has to take a quick bio break so you kids have pa fun. Patrick, for a what's your Patrick, fucking get those deal. photos from Beautiful City. Fucking deal, Patrick. Patrick, what's your fucking deal? Look, look. Patrick has to boot himself. Patrick, go to the bathroom. Go shave your head while you're in there. Make a little cupcake, Patrick. My God, fucking oh, little Patrick. Patrick. I, I, I look. I, I wasn't little expecting cupcake. this from Glenn. I was expecting <laughs> it from Patrick. George and why are you still here? Go to the bathroom, Patrick. Like, Come on, up. fucking Patrick. Where's your? Wait, you don't even Patrick? have the number. We're desynced. I'm not even. I don't even know when our list where we are. Where am I supposed to be? You don't have the numbers behind you, Patrick. Just a little pee. And we asking. Okay, bye. Glenn watch <laughs> oh, it's so fun Mama to bully Tom Patrick. Never done that live before. Glenn is going to copy that. And don't forget, if you haven't seen it, if Glenn's going to watch E2 Mama Tambien, y'all should watch Allegro Non Tropo if you haven't from the last time that someone that not Glenn was here talking about it. I don't know that one. I've heard of E2 Mama Tambien. Okay. I've heard of it too. Baby Diego. Baby oh, Diego. Diego yes. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh, I hope the answer to the I hope the answer to what I, I need to see it is Hangs Dong. Continue. <laughs> I mean, probably. Someone mentioned Game of Thrones earlier. Uh, Glenn is watching Game of Thrones for the first time, Whoa. and has gotten to the end of season three. <laughs> this show. <laughs> I don't. Glenn doesn't watch much TV that makes Glenn like actually horny, but this <laughs> show makes Glenn. Weirdly horny. It's all the heterosexual parts too. 
Glenn doesn't know how Glenn feels about this. But Glenn was more invested in Jon Snow learning his virginity than Glenn's one is about learning, losing his own virginity. <laughs> it's a shame uh, my sometimes uh, roommate, uh, George R.R. R. Martin, is not here right now. To, uh, to I heard he's three four. He's totally three fourths of the way done, y'all. One, oh, yeah. He's, he's been working so on it. three fourths of the way done, you can't imagine it. Like, literally, you can't imagine it because he can't either. <laughs> It must have been like two years ago when George R. R. Martin was on the George Lucas talk show. For a Glenn, I'm gonna, Glenn will get excited for Obreon in Montreal. Glenn was so mad that like one of the gays got stabbed like beginning of season two. Like take that from me, whatever. Fine. I think if you uh, don't want characters to get stabbed, you might oh, be. Oh, sweet. Talk show. Show. Yeah. No, here's the thing is Glenn already knows. <laughs> Why am I keep talking? I don't know. <laughs> Why is going to be? Um, oh, it's Blue Sheepy. No, yeah, I know, I know. Thank, thank you. I know all the spoilers because I exist. I just had to wait for all the hype to get out of the way, and plus a friend who just was insistent on on Glenn watching it. Um, but yeah, no, it'll be all good. The good thing is Glenn Glenn swings both ways, so no matter how, Glenn's Glenn's happy watching an episode of Game of Thrones. <laughs> oh, I sh you probably ever already saw it, but I do always like to show off uh, my shirts. Uh, of course, I'm wearing this beautiful shirt made by yes. Bring Your Noise, which yeah. has my name, my name on it. Oh, retired filmmaker. Well, my my title on it. You yeah. know, people, that's, but, oh wait, that's not your legal name. I thought your name was George Lucas. I thought your name was retired filmmaker, and George Lucas was like your Star Wars title. How you yeah. have like no, my yeah, my name is it. actually retired filmmaker, and George Lucas was just a uh, pseudonym. I appreciate that. Thank you for being on. Good to know. Us. I can't believe <gasps> Patrick didn't know. Oh you? my god! Oh, wow. new friend, a this new person. Us. Hi, celebrity. <laughs> Gem from the holograms. I've I've loved your work. How would you like us to introduce you, Gem from Gem of the yeah, holograms? Yeah, yeah. You, you get off the screen. Get put in the private chat. Patrick, Patrick, get back here. <laughs> Patrick. Okay. <laughs> Since Patrick is failing to do his job yet again, guests, please enter in the private chat uh, the name that you would like us. How you would like us to introduce you, please. I can't wait. Well, I guess since I already saw it, I, okay. Uh, <laughs> the Fragas, uh, Gem, Gem is excitement. Ooh. Uh oh, this Ooh, is longer Gem. than I thought. Gem is excitement. Ooh, Gem. Gem is adventure. Yay. Glamour and glitter. Oh, Fashion and fame. Yes. Gem, I'm I'm truly outrageous. What can I say? Yeah. Love it. I, I'm great. not as familiar with that programming. Mm -hmm. I'm more familiar with um, the Wuzzles. Oh, <laughs> what, yeah. what, what are the? <laughs> <laughs> and if we uh, have a moment, I believe we should listen to whatever uh, Butterbear uh, has to say right now. Hey, yeah, Radio Butterbear. <laughs> Okay. All right, Butterbear. Butterbear's saying about it. Or it's a little like anything, the actual antenna. To learn more about the electrifying CPU journey, visit nsca.org slash Chevy CPU. Thomas Lundy Peterson is credited as being the first African American to vote in an election in the U.S. His historic vote took place shortly after the passage of the 15th Amendment, which gave all people the right to vote. Okay. 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 That's pretty nice. That's now, I want to make an audience be... clear. Butterbear was not claiming to be the first African American to vote. <laughs> I'm not telling you. Butterbear was sure. letting you know about them. I'm just like right. the one Butterbear to get canceled because they were cutting in and out. That's your reminder to vote. Yeah, That's oh no, seriously. Really make a voting plan. Hey, I don't know if you know about Washington. Some people live in states that are one sided. Uh, I know my friend uh, Missy, who told me about this, lives in a state that's unfortunately cited one way. So uh, for everyone else, and states it's a matter, like me, you know, we're for, you know, 
vote, vote like your life depends on it. If not, because you got to make your voices heard. And also, you never know what election is going to be close until you're out there voting. So and true. You might change something that you have no idea you're a part of. Yeah, and local elections can be really important too. Mm -hmm. research. We had so, a yeah, man. True. Um, I would like to point out the first part of what Butter Bear was saying, though, is also go buy a Chevy. So <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. No, 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 no. I'm not, we're not stepping when Happy Honda Days is coming up. No, no, no. I can't on my holiday. No, no. It is you cannot. Too soon for Happy Honda Days. It is okay. still October. Mm -mm -mm. That's a good point. That's a good point. If you believe in Toyota, I believe in you. Do you know this is actual libel law? That this is something that Glenn learned in his communications uh, law class. There was a radio station that was sued because they offered a prize of a Toyota and it was a radio listener contest. And when the person won, they then revealed that the prize was actually a toy Yoda, not oh, a Yoda, no. a Toyota. That's far more valuable. As and, far they as sued, and they sued and they won. They won because wow. they're basically like, you can't do that. So they yes. had the station had to pay yes, for a Toyota. Sense. Yeah, it was yeah. wild. Oh yeah. But yeah, they, it was like, no, that's oh, like called a scam. So you can't do that. It was like actual law. It's great. Wow. Wow. Um, so as someone pointed out, I am Patrick's roommate. Um, oh, Jim, from Jim and the Hologram. Oh, Jim, you must be so sad that Patrick's leaving. You know. Yeah, I is Jim going to cover the rent? Yeah, and in fact, yeah, Patrick, really? hey, <laughs> Look, Glenn may have to leave here, but if you stay on the line, I think I think Patrick might come in a little bit. So, uh, oh, Patrick's so Glenn, long gone. Glenn, oh, wow. So Glenn's going to take off for a quick second. Okay. Um, okay. But I heard Patrick might be coming back. So we'll just, we'll. Bye, Glenn. Glenn, Glenn Sounds good. Bye, Glenn. Great to talk to you all. Again, Bye. wait for my tell all book. Uh, to August, it's a podcast coming out. You can hear sure. more about all the things about Wars Washington. So I'll get. Love Patrick. it. I think he's, I'll be right back. Okay. Okay. Oh, I still okay. want him to come back with a towel on his head. Or sorry, go ahead. Um, anyway. Am I sad about Patrick moving? Are you sad? Well, here's the thing. I'm in a band. Um, I don't know if you know this, Gem and the Holograms. And with Patrick moving out, I'm now going to have more space to rehearse. And I can put yeah. a computer that puts um, that control. Oh, I, I shouldn't reveal my secret identity. We but won't tell. My, my dad invented this computer <laughs> that um, that I have these red earrings. I'm not wearing them right now, but because I'm like in character. But um, my when I'm my my like day to day self that nobody knows who I am that I'm Gem. Um, I touch my uh, star earrings mm -hmm. and I say Showtime synergy, and then I transform into uh, into Gem. And um, the weird thing is, nobody really talks about this. Is uh -huh. that my boyfriend? <laughs> doesn't know that I have a secret <gasps> identity, but he's dating both identities. So he's relatable. I can't on even me. tell you. It happens all the time. He's Sorry. cheating on me with me. I mean, this, he thinks he is, but actually he's not. Right? Yeah, this seems like, this right? seems like with both of you. So maybe you should be able to communicate with him a little better. <laughs> like, he's, Look. you're both, this is, this is a bad relationship. Neither of you are really being honest here. I mean, you're yeah, right, but like, I can't tell anybody about my secret identity. No, trust your own can, boyfriend. Nobody can know that me, Jerrica Benton, is actually Jem from Gem and the Holograms. No. Right? You got the best of both worlds. It's true. I, I do <laughs> have the best of both worlds. So that feels more contemporary than I am. Like, <laughs> <laughs> are you good? Um, I, I, I want to show you. Patrick's never coming back. Uh, Patrick, Patrick will come back at some point. I, I think he's in the shower right now. Um, he's Patrick, in the shower. In the camera. It's, well, it's I know it's well, it's weird well, that he's well, constantly. Do you, do you ever get to take a shower? Because he sounds like he's always in there. No, I really don't. That's I really so sad, Jim from Jim the Holograms. Um, so. I, I do have another costume to show, and I will, but I want you all to see my lying, cheating boyfriend. Um, okay. 
this is Rico and his stupid purple hair. Yeah. Like, he does look like a YG boyfriend for sure. Right? Pretty hot, though. I mean, he is he's really hot. <laughs> I mean, yeah, he's a hottie. Like, like look, at, look, at, look at him about to kiss me, Jen from Jem and the Holograms. But you're his girlfriend. Oh, my goodness. Um, but let me pull up. I've I've been DM'd some more photos. Uh, You've been DM'd photos. Sorry, beautiful city has been DM'd photos, and um, oh, it's, 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 she runs over to this house sometime and is just mm -hmm. uh, is just adding some weird stuff. Um, we do have a special guest that I'm going to. Uh, oh, they ran away. Okay, <laughs> uh, next special guest. Uh, but here we have a, a lovely photo uh, of Shannon, uh, from our looks friend. Looks like um, from Rocco's Modern Life, maybe? Oh, is that what? Yeah. Modern mm -hmm. Life. And there's a turtle backpack for sure. I recognize the claw hand right away. <laughs> Love it. That's there was something that looks familiar, but I couldn't place it. But yeah, that's good work. Love it. Love it. Love it. Um, we have some uh, some additional ones as well. But, you know, before I share these additional ones, oh, where the fuck do you keep going? <laughs> what is your deal? Oh, okay. Okay. What's the fucking deal? Hold on. Uh, okay. Mm -hmm. You want to you do what I you want to do? I that shirt, too, but I'm not wearing it right now. <laughs> That's a great right. shirt. <laughs> what is your fucking deal? You move from one room into the other. Hey guys. Are this we, guy. Have you guys been oh. on the stream? We've been going. <laughs> George, how long have you been on the stream? Patrick, what? I told you. you I you was in the bathroom blowing my hair out because you said I had to <laughs> shave it. Patrick. So, how long have you been up? Hi guys, hey everyone, sorry. Patrick, we're so oh, late. Patrick, Did you, you have even to get, get a call? You're, on, you're going to be on the West Coast, just like me. George Lucas. Well, I know. Why is it taking me so West long Coast. to get here? I finally moved over and then finally here. I got my Anaheim's duck hat already, George. <laughs> Can't you see? <laughs> like, I'm a West Coast guy now, so I'm, like, ready. I just was, like, I'm really so tired, late, man. Like, I had so many hats to give away. And, That's like, cool. bring the noise. He gave me this shirt um, that I heard it's Missy's husband's Twitter, you know, Instagram and his art. So, like, that's I a just had a tough it. time, man. So it's just fine, George. George, wait, who's the guest so far? Wait, do you get Gemma the holograms on? Yeah, Gemma, Patrick, I didn't know that called, you were here. It's called doing your job. You should try doing it. Are you George, if you passing? ask me oh, to wow. do it, I would have done it for you. But you can't fucking do it yourself using apparently your cell phone because you refuse to use a laptop. Patrick. Patrick, I've had to run this show. I, I have to run CISO too, but here I am. <laughs> I had to pretend to be you. I pretended yeah, to be I you because that. I am a master of disguise. What? You're just shaking me on the shoulder, but I appreciate it, Jim. Yeah. Um, <sighs> our good friend, Tinnifer, has shared some Halloween costumes. Former Rambo. Oh, great. Ah, yes, former, former random Jennifer. Jennifer as a mermaid. You. Look at that hair. And the wand. It's incredible. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Um, and then we also have Panda Tinnifer. Aw. Adorable. Absolutely adorable. And if we want to go back to looking at my hot loser boyfriend. <laughs> That is your <laughs> wait. There's some. There's another guy there. Go back. Go back. Who was that? There he is. That's your hot loser boyfriend. That's your hot loser boyfriend. <laughs> no, this is my boyfriend. That, yeah, that is your hot loser boyfriend for sure. Um. So they. Oh, here's my hot loser boyfriend in a Barbie doll holding hands with my, I think, sister. Oh, name I forget. No, <laughs> yeah, that's not you. <laughs> it's not me. It's not me. I have blonde or light pink hair. Um, and then we have uh, my bandmates whose names I am not remembering because I am tired. Uh, are, you're, they're they're your band. Band. are they them. real people or are they just holograms? No, your these bandmates. are real people. Your bandmates? Yes, my bandmates are real people. So who are the holograms? Uh, well, because I am a hologram, it's like they're. What? I don't. 
<laughs> George, you have some really experience with holograms. Have you ever, um, when you were when you were filming uh, Alec Guinness or uh, you know Carrie Fisher? I guess Carrie Fisher was a hologram. Alec Guinness was a ghost. That's different. When you're filming Carrie Fisher for that hologram in uh, in the the first rough cut of uh, the fourth movie, um, were you inspired by the forthcoming Gem and the Holograms? I I tried suing because uh, if you look at Gem and Gem and the Holograms, um, I clearly um, started that. I mean, basically most things I started, and I sue a lot of people as a result. I believe it. Yeah. You seem very <laughs> litigious. Lena has a good question for us. I don't know how to make, put the comment there. Oh, um, I can do press. that. Go, girl. Give us nothing, boyfriend. Okay. Rhea from okay. Tim and the Holograms or Tuxedo Mask from Sailor Moon. That, that is a tough question. I, I have to go with Tuxedo Mask, honestly. Admittedly, I I only live in my own universe. I am not aware of. Oh, there's the cat. Is it because Studio Cat went away? <laughs> that does look a little bit like Studio Cat. Well, it Studio be Cat was here before, and mm -hmm. this cat was like no, <laughs> and would not show their face. That cat likes being on camera, unlike me. That's not how it. It's true. It's very yeah. very true. No, no, yeah, Patrick, you're, you're never on camera. Uh, Jim, Jim, I got a question for really you. Like, sure. uh, Blue yeah. I oh, love sorry. that. Jim, what do you think Jim from the 2015 film Jim and the Holograms is doing during the pandemic? <laughs> Patrick! What? I'm just asking her what she's doing. Jim, I didn't, I didn't Patrick, ask her if she died during the pandemic. I Patrick has been thinking about did. this question the whole time he's been here. It's been about Weird. five minutes. He was so fucking late. I'm sorry, guys. You got Spider-Man upset. Do you know how difficult it is to get <laughs> Spider-Man upset? Friendly is in your game. I don't feel friendly right now, honestly, Patrick. Guys, come on. I, I don't know her. Go ahead, Joe. 2015, Gem and the Holograms. Gem. I'm sorry to this man. I do not know her. <laughs> Gem. Gem, Gem, why don't you tell us what Gem is doing now during the pandemic? Well... I'm living in Patrick Cotner's old apartment. <laughs> like, oh Things have gotten real bad for Jim. <laughs> Nothing gets worse than that. I mean, does yeah, good luck with that apartment. Does um, you're gonna get so many Connor weird Griffin fancy sent in from there? George Lucas talk show fans. So, I am <laughs> already getting weird mail. I <laughs> 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 mean, hats. Like I, Patrick, well, like, who needs that? Who do you have? Do you get stickers? I get stickers sent to me still. I have like a thousand stickers. Oh my that god, your sticker looks like my hat. What? My hat? I get mouse I mean, pads? I just have really? Like, come on. Like, what it is has this a magnet that looks a lot me? like that sticker, but it's too far away. Like, I go to Alice.Deals like everyone else. This is where I get like my shirts, my hats, my everything, you know, that I have to, to get in there. Alice.Deals. That's a good question, no. Jet. Hey, we have a question from, from Alice in the chat says, yeah. this is yeah. my job, everyone. Alice in the chat says, Jem, what are your <laughs> thoughts, we, the real funny girl? Okay, mm. so there mm -hmm. is a person on TikTok who does videos that's like Broadway tea, and he's kind of a piece of shit, honestly, but he does have some good information sometimes. Um, and there is a rumor going around that um, they are recording a cast recording of the current iteration of Funny Girl with She Who Will Not Be Named and not Beanie. Uh, so oh, yeah. Leah Michelle? Does not surprise me. Yeah. <laughs> she who yeah. will not be named. Voldemort. <laughs> um, I expected a lot more, Patrick. What is your fucking deal from that? So that's fine. Oh, my <laughs> <name is> fucking <laughs> deal, Patrick. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I just thought we all, we all knew what we were talking about. I thought we could just say it. Patrick. This isn't a second Patrick. guess situation, Patrick. Patrick. What? Guys, I'm sorry. Patrick. <laughs> Yes, George. I didn't say anything. Oh, yes, <laughs> yes, B. yes, a B. But, alive. but since you asked, I will comment. Uh, why don't you dox yourself again? <laughs> my address is one nine three one. That's part of my real address. <laughs> you can guess the rest. 
Well, we know Actually, you live in, we know you in Queens. We know you live in Queens. It's 1931 one Queens, New York. 1931 Queens. I live in Queens. 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 Famously. Well, Famously. Famously. And, Famously. Crazy. Say if someone were to get a poster sent by Patrick, someone would know, and someone very quickly threw out that thing because they did not want Patrick's address actually were weirdly being out there. That may have happened in real life. Who knows? Patrick has no problem giving out his address. All right. Uh, Lena136 in the chat says, another reason why she who will not be named is being extra fake nice to the crew so they won't F up her cast recording. That checks out. I also believe that. Yeah. George, George, have you been involved in any cast recordings during your time? Uh, in um, we did do a cast recording once of uh, Beverly Hills Cop uh, 3. Um, and it's actually me who's going... Bum, 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 George, that was you? Yeah, that was me. Oh. Yeah. You, that. You, were, you were the F in act, the F note in Axel F? Oh, Alice Pfeiffer Cemetery has all of our real addresses. <laughs> that, <laughs> that, that, that is true. true. This is I true. I have moved. So technically, not anymore. But yeah. Pat, Patrick may have moved to the West Coast, but other people haven't. <laughs> yeah. I also got all her addresses. Uh, she sent out a lot of hats, and for some reason, even to bees and Spider Man and mm -hmm. uh, Gem from Gem I purchased Alvarez. things at Alice Dot Deals. Here. You know. And, yeah, and we got the Oh, what's your scum? Oh, that sticker. I was gonna say, what's that? But it's the sticker on your watch. Also, bottle. watch the new mole, the new mole on Netflix. It's shot like a cinema film, so you it enjoy it. Rules. It rules. Now you sound like Bryce. Don't you know. Yeah, you do uh, sound like Bryson. Classic Bryson. Me, which I think Bryson have has hasn't done any bumpers at all Bryson. tonight. Hey, Bryson, make a bumper. Bryson, Bryson, a bumper. Bryson, 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 get in here. <laughs> oh, in here, hey, guys, guys, the bumper factory's closed. <laughs> Bumper factory can't be closed. guys. No, there's no more bumpers coming in. Close, guys. Sorry. Do your job, Bryson. Guys, you've given me too many bumpers. Bumper factory close. Bryson, you can you can do more bumpers, man. Come do on, your George, job, Bryson. George asked you for a simple bumper. I I don't know what's hard about that. No more bump, guys. None. No more. Jersey bumpers. Dave, tell him to make more bumpers. No, no, no. Jersey no. Dave, get in here. Why haven't we seen Jersey you? Dave, where are you? Yeah, Jersey Dave, where are you? <laughs> hey. Hey, uh, Bryson, Bryson, hey, you got to make more bumpers, man. No, we can't. We can't do any more bumpers. We're all out. We're all out of bumpers. Hey, Bryson, Bryson, Bryson you, come on, hey, take a couple more bumpers. You got it now. Yeah, Bryson, you can do more bumpers. Come on, I'm taking a nap down here. You can do a bumper <laughs> while I take the nap. It's fine. No, no more, Bryson. I, we've got too much blind um, day of the tentacle we're doing. We're also looking at blind mansion, uh, manic mansion. We got a lot of, and we're, but I, I mean, we're going to be reviewing the episodes of the TV show starring Eugene Libby while we're blindfolded. That's going to be a big ordeal. So we got to get that plan. All right. Well, Fair it's, enough. it's just a shame that there is no one here uh, from Jersey named Dave, but unfortunately, no. No. Or even the Jersey Mike's nearby. Um, it was nice of Brayson and Jersey Dave to stop by, though. It is. Even though yeah. they're on the stream. It, it is. It so I, I, Ooh. I, Ooh. I, I um, uh, obviously famous uh, pop star Gem and the Holograms. There you go. I was just um, about to say, should we okay. switch on over to some of our other branding? <laughs> and if you um, haven't watched Poor Jedi... Do Day of the Tentacle. Y'all need to go see it. It is spooky what can happen during that. It's yep. really good. It's yep. bitching. It's bitching. Yep. I don't wanna. So uh, it, it was very interesting, <laughs> though, and as someone who is close personal friends with Beautiful City um, and who happens to know uh, Beautiful City's actual name. Uh, the uh, 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 the the pronunciation of her last name uh, in the origin that it is from rhymes with uh, this. So yeah, every time sure. they brought that up, I was like, <laughs> "Beautiful city." Sorry, was like, "What the fuck?" <laughs> Good to know. Yeah, I still haven't bought it from my local Whole Foods or Target in California. Yeah. 
Hey, say, say you were six foot tall and your last name was Tall Man. Is that ironic? A little bit. Yeah. Good question. I don't know. I don't know what exactly. the average height is, but it would be pretty funny if that was true. Just a, it might be true for someone. Could be it anybody. Might be true for someone. Family. No, we don't know. We don't know. Oh, is it Vin Week? Oh, we have 30 Beef Week bumpers. That's true. Oh, Beef Week. <laughs> August 31st. I remember it like it was yesterday. <laughs> but also, so many, so many dead presidents. I mean, is it Vin Week? <laughs> Come on, everybody. Everyone knows that Beef Week is in August. <laughs> Beef Week. <laughs> Jokes on you, Beef Week isn't until August. Bryson! All right, yeah. Wow, Beef Week is gone too soon. Beef Week? Y'all still haven't seen the A&E cow statue. You still haven't seen it yet. Can people call in their beefs? Are the phone lines open? That. Uh, so the phone. Uh -oh. If it's the week of hollow bees. We cannot do live um, oh, okay. calls. Like people Because we're too stupid in. to know how. Exactly. <laughs> we only um, have like three or four producers on the show. Patrick. I'm sorry. Come on, I'm Patrick. Sorry. <laughs> Come on, Patrick. Like George. George, you could have put a DSL to my apartment, but like I don't even have a phone line here. <laughs> I'm broadcasting from my cell phone. Patrick. I'm like you in the early days. Oh wow, Lena, that's a very really good point. Is that that has to be right? That's scary. That blows my mind. And I also like, are they doing so much tonight? They said they would. They, I mean, and they did say they would. They said they would. I mean, I think we got to hold it to them. And I, of course, me uh, George, we should make an appearance since uh, I used to George be on that network. This that, that time of year, between oh, the oh, oh, that's very cute. Is this a uh, Cookie Monster? It yeah. is indeed. That's really monster. cute. It is hard to uh, see through my eye holes. I don't know how to tell you guys. <laughs> Just like the real Spider Man. <laughs> yeah, it's so hard to fight crime. <laughs> Um, yeah, as a, as a non-American, that <laughs> that's year, true. Alex. It, I mean, Alice uh, is not wrong. There was no ceremony. No. That's true. Sandwich night and the uh, till death to us blart, like together, make up a whole a whole holiday. That's a special holiday. Be, uh, yeah, death blart. Missy was telling me about her first time celebrating these holidays, so she's really excited. Well, that's exciting. I'm happy for Yahoo! And Maybe I know... Hindsight is kind of a shit show. And Patrick, I know I've heard you say recently that you mm -hmm. uh, hope that we do the uh, Country Bears Marathon. I would love a Country Bears Marathon. If you haven't listened to it, you should listen to the uh, episode of Podcast the Ride, where they do a Country mm -hmm. Bear Jamboree with them and uh, Zach and Jess from it. Uh, I listened to it. I'm not joking. It came up as the most played thing I'd played that year <laughs> by the end of the year. Uh, wait, that, that, like, that would be any not to play yes. that much. That would be the folks from Off Book, the Off Book yes. podcast. Uh, wow, yeah. Patrick, wow. Amazing. I always forget about Death Blood every year, and then it sneaks up on me. I'm like, we're back mm -hmm. here again. So Come my... Every my year, first every year in American Thanksgiving. <laughs> my uh, first sandwich night was uh, the first pandemic sandwich night, which I believe oh, is uh, the time when they all started dancing. And Geth was so confused, <laughs> like so confused. Yeah, <laughs> because, because me and uh, Patrick and uh, Lotto went on uh, when we hit the Irishman. Yes. And, uh, oh. oh man. In life, whenever people start dancing, I tend to get confused. It's an emotion of joy that I don't understand because no one has died. What has happened? Doesn't make sense to you, Patrick. Uh, no. That's true. That no. is. That does bring up a good question. Uh, Alice Forever Cemetery in the chat says, when vamps, uh, Lino316 also says, hashtag when vamps. Uh, George, when, when are we getting vamps on the, uh, on the show? 
I mean, what's everyone doing right now? I'm free. Uh, George, we're, we're not going to go a full vamps, are we? No. <laughs> no, Jem cannot make a full vamps. <laughs> <laughs> not tonight, George. Um, and Lena, you are correct. That yeah. is also when uh, Geth started saying some shit about Rolf. I mean, everyone knows that Rolf is Jim's trademark character who is mm. beloved by everyone except for Geth, apparently. And, and, and he JD seems... and, and our friend Griffin Newman flipped the fuck out on him. He that seems, is. I hope that something better comes along. One of the best Muppet songs that has ever been said. And this is coming from Patrick Cotner, Muppets expert. So my opinion matters more than any human beings. That's a good point. Okay, Patrick. That's a great point, Patrick. I mean, hypothetically, if you were the top Muppets fan, you would be singing Rainbow Connection with Kermit in a few days, but you're, you're not, so. Oh, well, oh, that's just, that's harsh. You know, good that's, point, Spider-Pal. Good you point. Thank you, Gem, in? from Gem and the Holograms. <laughs> Spider-Man will be there. I think I'm going to have to, uh, I'm crashing a bit, so I think I'm going to take off. Um, oh. But before I do, oh. I have one more uh, Star Wars euphemism for sex that I came up with. <laughs> okay. uh, so my... Go. My parting words to everyone on this uh, wonderful Halloween episode will just be the duel of the fates. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no. Oh, I mean, yeah, it is late well, for a, it's very late for a bee to be out. It's true. Buzz, buzz. Hey, buzz, right buzz, to buzz. Andrew, bumblebee, buzz, buzz. My buzz. goodness. Um. So I can tell you that uh, Jem from Jem and the Holograms does not have that much time left in her either. How, uh, however, I would love to see more costumes. If people have them, send them over. We got a little bit. You want to see um, costumes? We. Uh, I haven't seen, join too, right? I'm not seeing no. anything Twitter under the hashtag costumes for Miss Call with four randoms sent to Patrick Cotnor. But Patrick, I did you forget to do wrong... hashtags again? <laughs> jo well, George maybe didn't. We send usually do any... hashtags at the top of the show, well, and you but... weren't here, so we couldn't do them. George didn't. You didn't. You and Watto didn't do them, or where even? That's your job, Patrick. Troll, Patrick. I, I just I know, made guys, the most sorry, famous movie of all time. <laughs> no, guys, glitter, glitter week was last week, and, and George just uh, George George. No. Do we need a? What do we need to do about the show, do, George? Do we need to restart the show? No, <laughs> I need to restart the show, yeah. Beef Week. Beef Week. Beef Week. Beef, 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 beef Week. I'm sorry, Bryson, I didn't know that. I was gonna fix it. Bryson, Bryson, did you make that bumper during the show? Bryson, did you make that bumper during the show? I thought you were the bright. The bumper back door was close. I don't understand. Guys, I found time. For Actually, dark. Let's fucking go. I have one more. Oh, no, that's I don't have so much. Air that beef. Uh, I'm not ready for after dark, guys. Me neither. <laughs> Uh, I think, uh, wait a minute, you, uh, is it ready for After Dark? Oh, is this better? Patrick's oh. always ready. Patrick's always ready wait, for Patrick, After you Dark. Were really, you were really on it. Yeah. I mean, we're pretty, it's pretty clear that we're ready for After Dark. Wait, there's a bumper in here that I don't know what it is, and I would really like to see what it is. So I'm going to find out. I hope it is. <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember this bumper. Oh, Belushi B is ready. <laughs> oh, Belushi B, you're so ready. No, I wish I knew where my was in some bumper. Yeah, I really don't. Oh my god. Nope. Oh. I don't know what that bumper is. Another man is <laughs> for women's hard work. Okay. But George, yeah. I don't know where George went, but that's our legal work thing. And George, we haven't talked about any of the updates and contracts of, of any Star Wars legal. George, I don't. 
George. I guess George just went to take a nap, everyone. So um at least Belushi B is here. You know, just I guess us on the chat. So uh Belushi B, um what what do you think um um Belushi B is doing today? I'm on the Seth Meyers show. Late. Night. On the what night are you on? Oh. When can we find you? I'm on every episode now. Every episode. Yeah, I mean, I don't want to be lines or anything. I don't. I don't get to contribute, but I. I mean, I do. I do. My yeah, friend is there. An extra. All right, I'm I gonna blow this out because I am terrified of my beautiful real hair catching fire from this candle. Your so. hair is definitely not more flammable than no. other real hair. <laughs> not in the slightest. <laughs> Not I wish really. I had a candle. I'm doing a really bad job at uh, After Dark. I'm so sorry. Uh -huh. Okay. I'm, I'm bad. Bad. Candle. As soon as I lit the candle, I was like, oh no. <laughs> Lena, um, <laughs> George, Lena316 from the chat says, um, you don't have to do after dark if you don't want to. It's sleepy time for some of you all. I know, George, you um, oh, thank you. you like your sleepy time. You know, I, I, I'm a fan of my sleepy time too. That, that's pretty well known. But, George, George, are you feeling sleepy at all? Or are you feeling sleepy pretty time? Good? Are you talking tea? Roll the fuck up. up. <laughs> We're talking tea with Zooks. Wow. <laughs> Who's got tea with me? Y'all got tea? I need your tea, George Lucas. I need your tea. What is that? <laughs> Jason Manzukas on the show. I can't believe it. Mm -hmm. Out of nowhere. I know. I don't. Talking I don't know where you came from. But that I always love a surprise. Zook in the back room this whole time. And I didn't even get to introduce him. Yeah, Jason Manzukas doesn't have time for an introduction. He just appears. That's very true. So That's ready. Very to talk very tea. true. Talking tea. Zooks, you okay? Um, Zooks, did you did you die? Exploded. <laughs> <laughs> Beef squashed. <laughs> you really squashed that beef. Oh, thank God. You did. Phew. I was worried. Honestly. Yeah. I was real worried. I, I feel like I need to find some sunglasses. You know what? I'm, I'm going to try. Who promises I'm going to try? Jeb, Jeb, just to you confirm. Know, Jeb, just Jeb, George, don't let George keep you late. If you need to go to bed, Jem, like you are you are allowed to leave at any point, okay? I, you do not have to stay for any longer. So I very much appreciate that. I would um, like to just put the call in, though, that I do have mod powers. Um, so <laughs> if I leave, the broadcast may never be ending. Well, so my, um, um, if our if our good friend Emily Pineapple is still around <laughs> and could potentially uh, manage the latter part of this. <laughs> oh, there we go. Thank you, Emily. Well, um, <laughs> Lord, Lord, Lord Fluval in the chat says the broadcast will continue forever. George, I think that means that um, we're good to go. I don't, I don't know, but I, I think I don't, I've never no. seen that in the chat before. No one answered my I question. Not see at all. George, what was your question again? Should Should I howl too? <laughs> yeah. Sure, yeah. George. If you want to, if you want to hail Fluval, you can hail Fluval. Ooh. There you go. That's a how. Well, that's a how. How. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> There's the spider pal I know. Oh, spider pal. So, how, how for do spider you pal. Question mark? Qu like, uh, spider pal or question mark? I didn't, I didn't want to tell you my secret identity. Oh, I panicked. Okay. I probably should have written spider pal. That's fine. I like question you know mark. It's an allure of mystery. Um, I I do not mind telling people my secret identity, even though it is secret. My name is Jerrica Benton. Um, no, um, please don't tell your uh, fuckboy boyfriend. No, my fuckboy boyfriend. Spider um, Pal, I, I believe I got you in the reflections in my glasses now, so I'm going to ask that reflection. Spider Pal, um, what do you think Spider Pal is doing? 
during the pandemic. <laughs> what do you, where do you think they are now? Jen. Hi there, is hanging out around Queens, just like you and Jem, and you know, saving the city, unlike you and Jem. Oh, Spider Pal, can I introduce you to a friend? I have to find him. Please um, do. Blockbuster character. Hold Jem, a new Jem, blockbuster character? Jem, Jem while, you do that, while you do that, I'm going to get a drink, Jem, so I'm going to be right back, okay? George, Ooh, just don't, tea. don't do anything crazy while I'm gone, okay? Always taking naps. Naps and snacks. Okay. We have another cat. Ooh, you have two cats. pick her up. She's very scary. <laughs> Does the other cat also live on uh, Seth Meyers with George and Bougie Bee? Maggie, come on up. Come on. Come on up. I forgot Blockbuster character was in the room with me. I can't wait, Jem. Um, have you met new Blockbuster character, Spider Build-A-Bear? <gasps> My what friend Spider build a bear on this show. I know. Wow. It's so nice to see you, Spider build a bear. Don't ask your Spider build a bear's identity. It's it's important that you don't know. It's almost like when somebody got Spider build a bear, they did not have a lot of money and did not want to spend a lot of money on them. So they got sure. the cheapest bear possible that was offered and just bought a cover that would cover his face. <laughs> I... Love that. Love that for you. I love that for me, honestly. That you know, that's true, Jess. Seeing double, like uh George and Patrick. Do you mind if I take you off the stream for a moment, just so Spider Pal and Spider Build a Bear? Sure, that's, that. yeah, that's fine. George, you're okay with that? I think I think they're good. Oh, Spider Build a Bear, how are you doing, buddy? Hey, pal, I'm doing it's great. Me so nice to see you. It's good to see you, too. Why are we still on the show? Who are these weirdos? I don't know. I've been scared to ask. Honestly, I'd do the favor for a friend. Thought I would show up for 30 minutes. It's been a couple of hours. I don't really know what's going on. It's yeah. so nice to see you. Thank God. I know. It's like a familiar face. I feel safe now. <laughs> That's what I'm here for. You make me feel safe. Thank it's, you. It's it's the great responsibility that does it, honestly. You think it's a great power, but it's not. It's, it's a great true. responsibility. It's so true. All right. Okay. Should we bring right. him back? Yeah, we brought him back. Oh, um, welcome back, friends. We're so happy to be here. Not confused at all. Great, great, uh, great to have you back with us. This is of uh, Spider Bear. Um, makes me wonder if Spider Man uh, fucks and, and therefore fucks bears. Oh no! I feel like um, one does not necessarily lead to the other. George, I think I think fairly canonically that um we should uh, probably get butter bear and spider bear on New York, so he might oh, that's canonically sweet. fuck bears for all we know. Should we see what butter bear has to say about all of this? Let's, let's, yeah, let's see butter bear and spider bear together. George, after that, I have a blockbuster new character to introduce as well that's been sent in. Oh. Uh, and, and once that happens, I, I do um, have some apologies. I did I had closed out of this, or beautiful city had closed out of Discord. Oh, what is Better Bear saying? Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh Emancipation comes out in select theaters on December 2nd. Rapper Cardi B is saying that she will address cheating rumors between her husband Offset and fellow rapper oh. OG on an upcoming album. That's what okay. she said during an exchange with Ra Ali on social media. Cardi George, wow. I didn't know that, uh, that Butterbear was, here first. Butterbear was on the Cardi B beat. I didn't know that. Oh yeah, no, Cardi B is another B. Yeah. So, so George, we got we got a character sent in to us. Um, this is you might know this character from a Miss Random's character. So this is our Blog Token, um, our Blog Token uh, figure. But how how do you know the Blog Token figure? Well, would a Blog Token be wearing these? I think so. So here we have our uh, our Blog Token action figure for you here. Wow, so, uh, the new, the new, the new, the new, the new, impressive. Yeah. 
That's really great. Wow. Thanks for thanks for well, thanks for um blah 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 who sent that in. I really appreciate that. I love that. <laughs> I really um, love that. We do have some uh new new items to feature from a website where you can buy some really wonderful uh things like this shirt that Jim from Jim and the Holograms is wearing Ooh. called Jurassic Jurassic World Dominions cuz see I, there's minions on it. And if you do that I'm going to point out a comment from Jazz Fadson Montgomery in the chat. I like BC's quickly attempt to go to bed at a reasonable time, which always gets thwarted. Yep, yep, yep. Is that yep, yep. again? <laughs> yeah, BC is here. Um, um, new on Alice Dot Deals, though, folks. Uh, George, oh, wow. George. What is Queef Queef on the George? We can't Queef. have a shirt that says Queef on the chat. George. It's not Queef Queef. It's what's for dinner. Queef Queef. Uh, we also have. A queef hat. Patrick. Wow, wow, wow. Patrick. wow. I love hats. Wow, wow, wow. You do love hats. Uh, and then we have Wen Vamps. Wen Vamps. <laughs> George, Wen wow. Vamps. Wen George, Vamps. George, the audience is out. George. Wen Vamps. Wen Vamps, George. George, according to your IMDb, Wen Vamps. Wen Vamps. Wen Vamps. George, Wen Vamps. Like, like Lost. We're Lost. When they it's the uh the uh mysterious question the unanswered question of all time. It's um, in this lighting. Do you think George looks more like Colonel Sanders? He'd argue so, yeah. Uh he's yeah, a little more, bit, yeah. He's more sexy than Colonel Sanders. I believe <laughs> I believe we mentioned that guy who does that podcast that uh um, oh right Car Ratliff. I, I believe he tried to be colonel um yep mm -hmm, mm -hmm. colonel sanders himself you wouldn't believe uh, this but i have a signed picture spider-man has a signed picture of Connor ratliff as colonel sanders i believe it wow. from you surprising <laughs> uh lena 316 in the chat says minions would have been way better than locusts in my honest opinion um lena 316 might be interested to know that i've heard missing information is going to be required to watch Ooh. Minions for an upcoming podcast called Not a Hate Watch, in which the first episode about the apple was recorded, in which we made Alice watch the apple, much to her chagrin. Sounds fun. So, yeah, not a we'll hate watch, to, you say? Not a hate watch. It'll be coming out. It's on the same podcast, uh, Girls Are Fired, that uh, I that uh, I thought you were special, the garbage miniseries of podcasts where Alice takes missing information through all the singles of garbage music videos is uh, airing and the episode is going to be coming out well Thursday morning that that's coming up Thursday soon. morning my word you'll be able to get the second episode coming up here shortly it's like an hour that's from now I was just about to say that is in an hour and six that, minutes for those of us the, in. the, <laughs> the apple is just yet another movie that ripped me off completely which mm. was the apple I mean, um, it is set in space, George, and space. I'm so is sorry. George. I mean, if it takes place in space, it's basically Star Wars, and they should give me money for that. You're right, George. You don't have enough money. I mean, I was robbed of Star Wars, and and they just left me a check, but I have no money besides that. Dollars. Garbage you, Thursdays you are education. here. That is absolutely true. true. Um, yeah, good on one. that wonderful note, folks. Um, Jen, uh, thank you so much it? for being here. Is it here. time? Yeah. Jen, I, I, Jen, do you have any plugs before you go? And can we get uh, a clean we get a clean Patrick. You didn't ask uh, uh, a live Andrew B about plugs, Patrick. Well, I, I so I but we got them clean McClunky early in the channel, so we're that's really what we oh need to get. God. Jen, when you have the time, do you have any plugs? Um, I would say uh, Alice Deals for sure. Yeah, Alice Deals. Go to Alice.deals. Home of the CISO um, 2 mug. <laughs> Get the CISO 2 mug. Uh, you absolutely can. You can, uh, I don't know if it's still a thing, but code it's not self anymore. Oh. Code self suck is how I got uh, this uh, Steph Germ mug. Uh, specific Andrew in the chat would also like to plug Alice.deals. Thank Love you very that. much. Specific oh, specific Andrew. Andrew. Uh, we should ask, does the bee have any plugs they would like? The bee specifically. And the bee. Jeff, no, Jem. I'm also Belushi B. Belushi yeah. yes, Um, Belushi B gonna... is also gonna buzz off. I think we're um, all gonna be. I think we're all lucky. I think we're all. Yeah, we're about point. to we're all Jem, we're gonna Jem, I'm gonna ask Wolf Pal and Belushi B as well. 
Can we all get a clean McClunky before we get out of here? Jem, you first. Can we get a clean McClunky? McClunky. Thank you. Wolf Pal? McClunky. Good. Blue Sheep -y? McClunky. Thank you. Um, the bee would like to plug avoiding pesticides and letting your lawns and gardens grow naturally. George, oh, do, do you want to end with a clean McClunky from both of us? Um, well, come wow. in chat, everyone. George, I George though, don't. Good. How do you usually? Don't you have a way of ending the show? How are you? And we the have show raised. Words? We have raised ninety nine thousand and nine hundred tenths of a cent for charity tonight. So thank you oh all who contributed to spare change. Wow. We appreciate that. Thank you. A lot of good. And may the force be with you. Always. <laughs>